Welcome everyone to the 2020 Wedding and Event Diamond Awards. I guess best we can give everybody a round of applause. <laughs> All the nominees are here. Um, I wanted to mention uh, the Twin Cities Wedding and Event Professionals. This past April was the 11 year anniversary, which is phenomenal. Um, for people that maybe don't know this, and I think a lot of you do, uh, the Twin Cities Wedding Event Professional was born in 2009. It's kind of the brainchild of Michelle Twerberg of Delight Photography and Matthew Sherry of Complete Wedding and Events. Um, back in 2009, those of you that were in business, there was a very tough recession that hit. And Michelle and Matt came together and they really were wanting to help the industry and also keep themselves going. and. Uh, the Twin Cities Wedding Event Professionals is what came about from that. Uh, they, they technically, at that point in time, was at the Twin Cities Wedding Pros, and over time it's kind of evolved into the Twin Cities Wedding Event Professionals. Uh, in 2010, we had uh, an attendee, a guest attendee by the name of Elizabeth Sherry, who, uh, had you just graduated? Yeah. Yeah, just graduated with a hospitality degree, and... It's interesting because over that course of time, you have, I think you've been there every step of the way since then. Yeah. It's, it's amazing when you start to think about the Twin Cities Wedding Event Professionals starting in 2009, having an event every month. 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. An event every month. That's a lot. And... In the beginning, it didn't start out from what it's become. Uh, kind of a humble beginning, actually. I think some of the first meetings, if you look on their website, some of the first meetings, I believe there was 14 people, something along those lines. Um, I believe complete wedding and events, actually, one of the side rooms there was where you guys met. And I know Michelle Twerberg brought in a crock pot with meatballs and... <laughs> Matthew, did you bring in lemonade? That's what the story. That's how the story goes. Um, so, over the course of time and through the years, uh, it's grown to be what it is today. With when we're meeting in person, there's upwards to 100 and 150 people in attendance. That's just wonderful. So, if we can just give a round of applause for that. Um, I just wanted to say thank you from the events industry to all three of you because. You've had an impact here in the Twin Cities, and it's really been bringing everybody together in such a marvelous way. So I am speaking for everyone in the events industry. Thank you, Michelle, Matt, and Elizabeth. Your work is really appreciated. So <laughs> without further ado, I want to introduce to you the program director since 2010, uh, Elizabeth Sherry. Thank you, Paul. Uh, welcome everyone, our in-person audience and our virtual audience. It's really great to have you all here tuning in and here in person. I said this to the group a couple minutes ago, but it feels like a reunion here. And for you tuning in live, we wanna make sure that's casted to you as well, because we welcome you. We're excited that you can tune in. We're also excited that technology exists to do this. So thanks technology. So this, like Paul mentioned, we've been doing this for 11 years. But with 11 years, you would think that we've missed one, like Paul was mentioning. We haven't missed a one. And this is our first ever hybrid event. So you guys are coming to a TCWP first. I have a feeling this will not be our last. Uh, so it's our new normal, and I hate that I just said that, but that is what it is. So welcome everyone to our first hybrid event and our 11th anniversary celebration. We have six awards to give out today to outstanding professionals in the industry. We were supposed to do this back in April, um, and as we all know, uh, that couldn't happen. It was April 8th, it was early on, and I think all of us by then thought, you know what, we'll be back. We'll be back by June. We're going to have an in-person event in July, and it's going to be normal. And again, using, I'm not going to say the word new and normal together again, but that is what we are here to do is um, celebrate in a size group that we feel is comfortable and as safe as possible. So we have about 20 people here today. We are outside. It's a perfect Minnesota day. 
Uh, you have the choice of wearing your masks outside if you'd like to, but inside it's mandatory. And we're taking all precautions to make sure everybody in our live audience is feeling safe and comfortable today. Um, so I'm excited just to be able to be in front of you today and celebrate with you. Uh, I do want to take this opportunity to um, also mention that, um, why am I looking at this? All right, what am I saying? I'm, I'm just going to introduce Michelle. My organic self is coming back out again. I don't need this anymore. Uh, all right, so Michelle and Matt, before I welcome her up, um, they created not only an environment for us, but they changed my future. I mentioned this last year, but I do want to give a little nod to that. Um, I actually ended up marrying Matt's brother. I wouldn't have met him without this. He's doing all the technology piece. So um, yeah, woo, to complete, to my husband for making me do technology training at 10 p.m. last night. Um, so thank you for that. But this group has changed my life. We have a daughter together, and so I hope that you guys not probably have had that experience and if you have let's go get a cocktail but um change your life in a way that is for the positive in any form so thank you again thank you to matt and michelle for welcoming me and letting me take over control of event planning for this group um, but really it's a group effort so um, you guys all pull it together for us and we really appreciate you so uh, without further ado michelle torberg co-founder twin cities wedding and event professional Thank you, Elizabeth. We appreciate everything that you do. You definitely um, have, this, have this place smooth running, and we appreciate everything that you do. So before we get too far, we want to thank the, spank, the sponsors. <laughs> the sponsors are the ones that make our events happen. Um, we wouldn't be doing this in our 11th year if we didn't have the sponsors that volunteer their events. So we do want to give them just a high five or a shout out right here today if we can. So. Complete Wedding and Events, their team is here. They are a family-owned business in the Twin Cities. They are a leading provider of wedding and event services with photography, DJ uplighting, videography, live streaming, photo booth, and coordination. Their team is here, their photography, Ari Reynolds. Give me, you guys can scream and shout for her. We appreciate that she's here today. We also have live streaming and doing our media is Michael Sherry with Complete. And our sound system and um, is Matthew Sherry with Complete here as well. We thank you for having your team here and making this event go live streaming. This is our first time doing that with our team. So we appreciate um, you guys being here. Our second sponsor is our to-go to dessert. Um, <clears throat> they happen to be the world's first cheesecake food truck, which is Camp Cheesecake. Tammy Cabrera with Muddy Paws Cheesecake. She has been creating artisan style, made from scratch cheesecake with over 222 flavors. And I know those of you that are watching online wish you were here. <laughs> so thank you, Tammy. And last but not least, our venue. We are in a glorious space here at the Hidden Greens Golf Course here in Hastings, Minnesota. I want to give a very special shout out to Liz Hubbard, our venue host. Um, she has been very gracious in allowing us to come into this space. Thank you. The Hidden Greens event venue is a really great spot. They opened here in July of 2018. This stone patio that we're on here, you can maybe hear the waterfall going in the background. They have event space that can hold 300 guests. They have a private um, bridal suite. And they also have a, a outdoor ceremony site. So it's a perfect venue um, for, the, for just great events. So we are so happy to be here. Thank you for hosting us here today. We want to thank you for your support, all of our event sponsors, and taking the time to make this event possible. Now, I would like to welcome our co-founder, my co-founder, my friend, and the tonight's award show host, Matthew Sherry. Hi, everybody. Woo, I'm so glad to see you all. Oh my goodness, just people and you guys are so fantastic. I'm so excited to be here. Um, all of you um, on uh, online, virtually, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. We are excited to go ahead and celebrate these amazing people and companies. So let's give all of them a round of applause. And shall we get into it? Let's do it. All right. Our first award is the Mountain Mover Award. These fabulous nominees should all feel honored in this category as you are all one to move mountains for your clients and your vendor friends. 
It's no small feat. These nominees consistently impact the uh, successful outcome of events. The pivotal team member who goes above and beyond making it all happen. Our nominees are Amber Clacious of Charisma Wedding and Events. <laughs> Renee Amar Katsmatka of Renee's Limousines. <laughs> and Ryan Vale of Studio Vale. And the winner is Amber Clacious of Charisma Wedding and Events. <laughs> Amber started Charisma Wedding and Events in 2018 after years of experience in different aspects of the industry. She brings that knowledge and expertise to her clients by offering packages of full planning, a la carte, day of coordination, and even rentals. She is a phenomenal human being. Amber shines, she dived right into volunteering and showcasing her talents and products. She's so easy to get to know, our group is very lucky to have Amber. Ladies and gentlemen, the mountain mover, Amber Clayton. Just want to say thank you. Um, I love this group, and I joined last year at the award ceremony, and that was my first ever event. And I came there, and I was like, wow, I kind of like this group. This is awesome. And it's been so fun. And it's only been a year, and I'm so excited to get to know everybody even more. And I look forward to the events, and I'm really sad that we're doing it online because I love seeing everybody in person. So this is really nice. Thank you. Our next award is the Rising Star Award. The Rising Star Award recognizes individuals who are showing passion in the industry. They have a hunger to succeed. They have a spirit of a, the rising industry professional. These nominees have grown with networking, a referral partner. They make an effort to really understand and know each other's businesses, refer businesses back and forth. They are really starting to shine in the event industry. So these nominees are Amy Rastetter of Amy Rachel Makeup and Artistry, <laughs> Evelyn Miller of Epitome Papers, and Jamie Spellerberg of Wilderland Floral. And the winner is Jamie Spellerberg of Wilderland Floral. Jamie made a courageous decision last year to open up her own business and commit full time to this new endeavor. We have seen her soar in this industry with some of the very, the most last minute requests you can ever see. Her willingness to jump in and help however possible is absolutely amazing. Her attitude is fantastic. Jamie's design style combines locally foraged botanicals with large quality floral products to produce an organic woodland aesthetic. Jamie's creatively Creatively cares for her clients, and that's why we are so excited. She's the 2020 Rising Star. Jamie. I stuck up on the taller than I am. <laughs> uh, I did not prepare anything because I really didn't think I was going to win. So I am super pumped. Um, I absolutely love this group. I would not be where I am today in my business without the people who preferred me, the people who believed in me. Um, just my family, uh, who's been able to just support me when I decided to just totally dive into my business. Um, so this, this means a lot, and it totally has to do with how, the, the people that are part of this group and who really are each other's cheerleaders through all of this. So, thank you guys. This one's going to be a lot easier for me, folks. Liz didn't write nearly as much for this one. So. <laughs> Our next Diamond Award is the Diamond Award. So, the Diamond Award has the industry it factor. They get it, they show it, they share it, and they are it. The creme de la creme. Nominees are Dana Allison of Keyed Up Events. 
Janine Pohl of Janine Marie Photography. And Tammy Cabrera of Muddy Paws Cheesecake. And the winner is Dana Allison of Keyed Up Events. Dana started her business in 2013 after assisting with a lot of weddings for friends and everyone telling her she's really good at it. Dana has gone above and beyond for this group since it literally started. She has cultivated a community and even coined the term Frienders. She just doesn't stop. Dana Ellison, everybody. talk about not preparing I have joked for the last week that you know I've, we just live in the southeast corner of St. Paul I'm like oh we don't have to drive that far so I can lose to Janine or Tammy so that'll be nice it'll just be a, it'll just be a nice night out um well seriously like not not expecting this at all um considering the two ladies that were in my category and as every bit deserving uh really want to thank this group this has been a really fun group to be a part of the last few years the first First year or so, I did not come um, uh, religiously, and that was a you know big a big mistake in my park. So definitely, uh, anything I would give to tell people is come to the group, come often, talk to people. Um, it's been a really great group to be part of, and I just really enjoy everybody here and love working with you all. So thank you so much. <laughs> Nice job, Dan. All right. Our next award is Best Caterer in the Twin Cities. The Twin Cities is full of foodies, and our industry is definitely the most critical <laughs> of ourselves. The nominees for Best Caterer in the Twin Cities is A Britain Catering and Distinctive Catering. And events. Crave Catering. And Slate and Stone Catering at the American Swedish Institute. And the winner of Best Caterer in the Twin Cities is Crave Catering. Crave Catering has been in business for over 10 years. They are the exclusive caterer at over four unique properties in the Twin Cities as well as being preferred caterers at dozens of other facilities around the area. Their team is so friendly and so great to work with. We are excited to bring this, present this award to Julie Terran, one of Crave's amazing catering sales managers for over five years now. All right, Julie. I'm so excited, not expected it at all. I'm in such good company, uh, and this is such a, a good group to be a part of, especially in a time like now when it's important to have friends that you can talk to about best practices. I was just visiting with uh, Slayton Stone and with Britain about what, how are you handling bar service? What are you doing about buffets? Where else can you go to have personal conversations like that with people you trust and get good answers in the industry? So thank you so much. I really appreciate WTCWEP. Uh, I was at that very first meeting. Michelle's meatballs are to die for. So if you can, if you can, if you know, twist your arm, go get some. Thank you. It is true. Julie was at our very, very first meeting. Yep. Very exciting. Okay. Our next award, second to last award, is the best venue in the Twin Cities. It is a big one. TCWP has literally been spoiled by some of the most amazing properties and the most amazing food in the Twin Cities that they can offer. The events that our volunteers and sponsors pull off monthly would literally be worth thousands, but you all made the magic happen, and we do it at these amazing, amazing venues. The nominees are the American Swedish Institute, the Hennepin Theater Trust, Historic Ferber Farm, Historic Hope Glen Farm and Vineyard, and Three Rivers Park District. And the winner is Hennepin Theater Trust. 
Hennepin Theater Trust hosted TCWEP in September of 2019, which seems like a, a lifetime ago now. Um, <laughs> their unique venue is perfectly staged in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. This is a difficult time for all venues right now, but uh, especially for one that's also a theater. Uh, we are thinking about the theater and Don Shire, our amazing contact for the space. Um, Don, we will be accepting this award for Don and uh, Hennepin Theater Trust in honor of them and to present it to them later. So one more bigger round of applause, <laughs> Hennepin Theater Trust. Should have had both envelopes. <laughs> All right, this is the end. This is the creme de la creme, the member of the year. All right, member of the year, TCWEP member that participates and knows the value of word of mouth referrals, shares resources, and builds friendships. The nominees are Heidi Akpayate of 139 Hair by Heidi. The first time I've gotten your name right. Susan Lee Wright, Perfect Day Ceremonies and Affordable I Do's. And Terry Uy Lennon of Uy Lennon Floral Events. Somebody give me a drum roll, y'all. And the winner is Terry Uy Lennon of Uy Lennon Floral and Events. Terry with Oil and Floral Events shines as a member of, a year, of the year. She participates and volunteers at every opportunity. She gives her best to help connect vendors, build working relationships, fostering growth, and helping others realize their potential. She gives without the thought of what she will get in return. She is incredibly genuine in all of her efforts. Terry has just recently moved to Colorado. We're gonna miss you. Come on down, member of the year! All right, Jamie, it's tall. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I didn't plan to say anything. I'm really, um, I'm moved. Like this group, you guys, you guys, you are my heart. So, the fact that I won't get to see all your faces on a regular basis every month, like, it's just, um, you know, I'm going to miss you all. This, this group has been such a huge part of the growth of my business. I was fortunate to find this group early on, and um, I look around and I see friends that I have done projects with, that I've done weddings with, and that, like, I call, like, during COVID, we did these virtual meetings to, like, be a lifeline to each other. So, and that's what you guys are. You're, you're my lifeline. So thank you, this means a lot. And you know what, even though I'm going to Denver, I'm taking TCWP with me. So thank you. I'm going to say. Thank you all so much for tuning in to these awards. This was a very special evening and I'm just so thrilled um, I do want to mention those nominees in the categories that didn't win. You did win. You really did. This, we are so appreciative of you and how much work you put into this group and how much you put into servicing your clients. We recognize that and so do your peers. Because let me tell you, some of these votes were ridiculously close and we're just really thankful that we don't have to make the decision that comes from masses. Um, so thank you so much for everyone who um, was nominated today and then the winners of today as well. Uh, so just some final notes and thoughts I just want to uh, leave you guys with here. Um, we are going to be tuning in virtually on August 12th. Uh, so August 12th we're doing a Zoom meeting and so that way we can be that lifeline to each other like Terry mentioned and connect it really helps us move our industry forward. So I hope you guys can tune into that. Uh, we are also starting our membership drive. And I'm saying this now because it also landmarks our 11 year. But the importance of membership is the feeling of belonging and community. So I do want to stress that a little bit because um, I actually work for three associations. And all of them are membership based. And it is a community and it's a bond. 
and we are in this together. And I know that's another cliche statement that I'm saying again, but it is so important we have each other to keep this industry strong. I will challenge to say that nothing has affected this industry as much and together we get through this. Um, so I am just really excited to um, be here tonight and, and I really appreciate all of you. So um, for closing, I'm gonna welcome back up Matthew Sherry of Complete Wedding and Events. And I just wanna thank you guys again for letting me have some podium time and um, being here today. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Michelle, for all of your hard work, for putting all of this together. Thank you, Mikey, for figuring out how to do live streaming uh, in about 48 hours um, a couple of months ago, and now you're kind of an expert at it. So this is really awesome. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. Uh, we are super excited to meet again next month and excited for next April when we do this all in person for our 12th year anniversary. So. Give yourselves a round of applause again. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching at home. If you were hearing some like background sound, it's actually this beautiful waterfall and not us being bad at what we do. So we love you all, and we'll see you next time. Woo!